Hello, my name is Anjin Huang from LabLab, and I'm going to talk about how the machine learning approaches can be used to classify normal and disease brains, in this case, dementia, by using brain's electrical signals. This work is done in collaboration with Brain Science Institute of Korea, Institute of Science and Technology. Dementia is a general term for describing symptoms like loss of memory, problem solving, and other thinking abilities such as recognizing families and friends. And Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of the dementia. So when we examine the brain of Alzheimer's disease patients, we can observe a severe loss of brain volume, especially in the brain parts related to learning and memory and planning and execution. And if we take a closer look into the brain tissues, neurons are damaged and even dying due to pathological substrates called plaque and tangles. But it is very difficult to distinguish the Alzheimer's disease progression from normal aging with the very early symptoms. So what we are interested in is characterizing the changes of functional brain states along with aging or Alzheimer's disease progression with EEG. According to the hypothetical time course of Alzheimer's disease, the behavior level functional decline is preceded by physiological and structural changes in the brain. But the diagnosis of the disease is hardly done not until the prodromal stage comes when the patients start to suffer from memory loss and the patients and their family decide to see a doctor. Since the examination of pathophysiological changes in the brain is very costly to be done through regular checkups, there is an increasing demand for early and inexpensive diagnostic methods such as using EEG. EEG signals are the electrical signals of the brain that reflect the collective activities of the neurons. EEG signals contain information about the architecture of the neural network in the brain, and they are very useful in diagnosing brain conditions such as seizure disorders and psychiatric disease such as schizophrenia. But there are no established EEG time courses or on EEG biomarkers for Alzheimer's disease yet. There are several questions with EEG to investigate the longitudinal change of the brain. If there are any aspects of EEG that are changing with disease progression, and if so, what the aspects are and how the change looks like, whether it is abrupt or gradual, and whether it has any characteristic time point. Here in this talk, we are going to introduce how we could detect the bifurcation of Alzheimer's disease brains from normal, as the animals get aged, by using machine learning application to longitudinally acquired EEG data from mice. Firstly, we have explored the longitudinal data with clustering analysis to examine if there are any trends in the EEG features changing a long time. EEG features were min-max normalized and averaged over subjects and recording sessions in each time window to make feature vectors a long time. Pairwise Euclidean distances were computed between feature vectors, and the features are grouped hierarchically to form vertical clusters. With a distance ratio to 0.5, we have found three types of trajectory patterns in control group, which is increasing, decreasing, and steady, and two types of patterns of decreasing and steady in AD groups. Interestingly, the decreasing trends were only observed when the cluster analysis were performed on each group separately. When we look at the descending trajectory, there are outstanding breakpoints in the trajectories for both groups, respectively, possibly reflecting certain changes of brain conditions around this moment. This decreasing cluster includes most of the intertrial currents of responses to sound clicks given as 30, 40, and 50 Hz frequencies. These frequencies are in gamma band, which is known to participate in cognitive functions such as perception, attention, and memory. Since the member features of decreasing trajectory in control are not the same as those in AD groups, 
we selected and compared the member features of decreasing trajectory in AD to that in control group. We found that those EEG features in control mice were not decreasing as in AD mice, and their trajectory started to diverge at the age of 31st weeks. To further investigate what's happening at this characteristic time point around the age of 31st week, we trained a machine learning classifier with the EEG features and tested whether the classifier could tell the difference between control and AD groups in a time-dependent manner. We have used random forest model to classify two groups of mice. Random forest is an ensemble learning method using multiple decision trees to perform regression or classification. It gives a nonlinear decision boundary, which is suitable to describe high dimensional complex patterns hidden behind the data and automatically select important features for decision, enabling the model to be interpretable. First, age-related features were selected with spirit means correlation analysis and divided into training and testing data set, where the training set is acquired at the old ages, like 34 weeks. A random forest model was trained to distinguish AD mice model from control and tested in five week windows sliding over the younger age data set with one week step. In a test window, experiments were repeated 30 times with a random state seed for the random forest model, and the evaluation metrics were obtained by averaging over the results of 30 repetition. In the random forest model, with the maximum average accuracy over testing windows, class probability were obtained, and the divergence of probability distributions for AD and control mice were quantified with kullback libeler divergence. Also, feature importance was determined with Gini impurity scores and visualized with decision trees. When the random forest model was tested for the younger age data set, the accuracy curve showed monotonic and smoothly increasing trends starting from 60% at 19 week. Chromograph Smilonov test of probability distribution resulted in p-values lower than 5% from the 19th week as well, indicating that the difference of EEG features detectable as early as 4.5 months after birth. This is the earliest age detected with EEG and coincides with the moment that memory impairment was reported to start in this AD model. While the accuracy to distinguish two groups changes smoothly along time, there was an abrupt change in KL divergence of class probabilities distributions at the age of 31st week. This characteristic time point was also detected with the earlier unsupervised clustering analysis, which is independent from the random forest classifier analysis performance here. And the feature of high important in predicting the class probability was intertrial occurrence of the responses, especially in gamma band, which were also the major features of cluster declining over time in AD groups. To summarize, we have presented a new approach to quantify temporal changes of brain function in AD model mice using machine learning method and shown that the ensemble of EEG features could describe the difference of AD and normal brain states, which has not been done on an individual feature basis. Among the myriad of EEG features, intertrial coherence in gamma band were principally reflecting the change of brain conditions detected with machine learning approaches. Thank you for your time to paying attention to my talk.